Hey everyone. Well, it's not looking good for haircut money today, so it's it's going to be too late because everything closes at four. And um, by uh, about two o'clock tomorrow, I have to be there, so everything's not open tomorrow. The the people who I get the haircut from. So I'm going to have to go with my hair looking like this. I was told that I was going to, uh, someone owed me money, was going to put the money in this morning. And now they're saying they were going to put it in at 3.30 this afternoon. And I had already explained to them that I needed it at 4. And they're telling me they never, that I never said that. That they never said that. So this is just an ongoing thing, which is causing a lot of problems. But um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I may go to uh, orientation, and they may tell me they can't come back till I get a haircut. I mean, either way, it's it's going to look bad. It's just stupid. Just, a, just an avenue I've been working on for over a year, or about a year. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to do what I can do today. I'm just going to focus on trying to get the clothes together to go to this uh, the Elks thing. And um, I got I got a shirt that's decent for uh, Sunday. I've been stashing it any time I get find clothes that don't have holes in it from this washer. Earlier videos you've seen where the clothes are coming out full of holes. This is the problem. Now I have no wardrobe. Anything I've been putting in this uh, duffel bag and all I've got is a shirt and, and some socks. They, they came out with, without holes in it. I think I have another shirt that's got no holes in it. But I'm, I'm looking for it. I should have a new one new shirt and that way I'll have uh, the two shirts so I can go to the two events simultaneously without looking like I'm wearing the same clothes which I really don't wear the same clothes but um, most of the clothes that I do wear are so full of holes and crappy that, that it's just not suitable for this event so anyway if I can get through this in the next couple days then uh, at least at least that's done and I have another avenue for um, networking but right now I, I'm trying to stop a constant spiral that's <laughs> you know once you hit the bottom it's just, it's just almost impossible to get out of it it's just it's just it's messed up and society's set to be polarized, and it's just just the way. Once you got money coming in, it's it's not you have to be really an idiot to lose it all, or you have to really get ripped off pretty bad. And uh, you know, it's rare that, that you lose it. But um, once you uh, you know, unless you take excessive risks like I did. <laughs> And I never really got to where I wanted to go anyway. I, I never got past middle middle class money. But the middle class is a constant draw. You're constantly hammered by, by stuff because you're sitting target for those who want to um, take your money. So getting over, from poverty over that hump <laughs> to be able to be affluent is a real nightmare. So anyway, um, I'm in poverty, as you can tell, and um, I'm gonna just do what I can do. I'm not gonna steal anything. I'm not going to uh, cut my own hair. You know, you gotta stick with your principles. And anyway, 
Um, I'm going to do what I can do to uh, find another shirt today and to somehow get some pants. It's a, and the real problem is before 4 o'clock today, somehow be able to get a haircut. Alright, I'm sitting out here waiting for a phone call on my cell phone that the that a deposit's been made in the um, in uh, my sovereign account Santander account uh, enough to cover a haircut so hopefully it's going to happen in enough time to actually get one as uh, today's the last day I can do it well, I was able to uh, borrow the money and get the uh, haircut. Also, I got my uh, business license for Pongo. So, things are looking up. I borrowed the money for the haircut. I'll have to figure out a way to uh, get the pants now. Yeah, my units are double locked, except for the um, new processing unit, which is on a whole different system. So, uh, anyway, I, I uh, was able to get some pants at the, at the thrift shop, and uh, I got my hair cut, so I really hate buying pants at the thrift shop because you never know what kind of crap you're going to catch out of them. I'm going to wash them a few times and hopefully that'll be alright. But they're good pants. They look almost new. Sometimes you get, uh, the stores sometimes, uh, donate to the thrift shops some new pants. So, hopefully that's the case here. But, um, anyway, there's hope now. This has been a pretty miraculous month that I'm not even totally shut down. Because I do have a processing center, which I'm going to start bringing some uh, good clothes to so that I'm able to uh, get things going. I have the uh, use of Cherry's car which is which is a uh, miracle in itself. It's just amazing so I'm able to continue on even though I should be crushed right now. So hopefully <laughs> hopefully it'll be enough to get me to the point to where I can uh, become solvent again. And as an aside, uh, if any of you guys ever need a haircut, you should go to Hanny's in Stanton if you're in the Stanton, Virginia area. This guy is just an artist. He's just amazing. I haven't seen anybody this good outside of the major uh, metropolitan areas on the East Coast. I mean, it's, this guy's good. So, um, anyway, uh, on the uh, other storage unit. I bought a uh, Pez machine for a dollar at the uh, thrift shop that I got the pants at. And I should, hopefully it's one of the collectible ones I'd be able to sell for 20, 25 bucks and offset a lot of this stuff. And that's the next phase is to, uh, with Operation Zebra, liquidate a lot of this um, stuff I have mostly problematically, um, most of the stuff I have that is saleable is in Pennsylvania or um, Florida. So what I really need to do is get a uh, trailer hitch for Cherry's car and uh, that way I'll be able to theoretically go down to Florida with the trailer that I have a few times for the price of one trip on the, on the truck. Um, I'll be able to make four or five runs down in Florida. And maybe I can set some other stuff up. So As I'm just entertaining options right now. Um, I know the Florida unit is only 10 by 10, so I figure out how many uh, trailers full of uh, junk it would take if it took just the trailer on a car. I believe I could whack it out in one trip with the. Uh, box truck with a trailer attached, but I have to uh, modify the trailer hitch for the box truck as well that's rusted. But I figured a way to do that with big bolts, but it's going to cost me like 40, 50 bucks just for the drill bit to, uh, to drill for the um, uh, modified hitch. So, anyway, 
Thanks for well, I forgot the keys for this. <laughs> so we can't put this stuff in. We're going to put this Pez thing in the storage unit. Anyway, it's pretty cool, you can see. These are collectible. I'm going to have to find out the Pez for Pete. I don't know if that's for doggy treats or if they just have it like that. I don't know. Hopefully I can get some money for that on eBay to offset today's expenses. Anyway, here's uh, pants. Got some uh, dockers, some um, uh, old navy. I forget what the other one is. But I'm gonna go home and wash them. I'll just leave the Pez thing in the uh, in the uh, Cherry's car. All right, onward. Well, that's it for tonight. Uh, George is washing clothes, so I'll have to wait till he goes to the hospital to visit his wife tomorrow morning. Uh, about 8 o'clock and then I can wash the um, pants that I just bought from the thrift shop. Hopefully they'll be the right size. Um, I've got almost enough money to uh, pay the dues for the um, um, st for the um, Elks Club. And I'm going to focus on that and, uh, and getting ready for... Uh, i got to get one more shirt together somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't have holes in it. I got the jackets, I got the shoes, I got the socks. And I got the haircut. So all I need to do is find the one more shirt, which I have, and um, hopefully these pants that I just bought at the thrift shop will be the right size. And then um, I'm going to wash them in the morning and I'll know for sure. And other than that, them not being the right size, I can't see any other complications. I just have to come up with maybe another 25 bucks, which I'm working on, and um, then I'll be able to do everything. So I'll see you tomorrow.